Okay, today we're going to look at areas of different shapes. The first one we're going to begin with is a rectangle, nice and simple. As you can see down here, we have the rule, area equals length times width. Now what we do is we look at the, the length, which is 9 centimetres, and the width, which is 5 centimetres, and we put basically those two in substitution with L and W. So what we end up having is A equals 9 times 5. Now that just simply means going down here we've got break it into 5 centimeters across here breaking it into 9 and that gives you basically 45 squares set into that area just basically like that. And that gives you 45 centimeters squared. Okay now, if you're going to look at the perimeter of this shape, very, very similar. Um, we just have to basically look at the 5, we look at the 9, so we've got length and a width. But in this case, we've got two widths on either side, two lengths on the other side. So basically what we need to do is do length plus length plus width and plus width. The easy way to do that is 2L plus 2W. That ends up looking like this, so perimeter equals 9 plus 9 plus 5 plus 5. So if you quickly do your maths, it equals 28 centimetres. Now we don't need to put the, the square in there because we're talking distance not area in that sense. Moving forward. Okay, we've also got a square. It's very, very similar to the rectangle. But in this case, we've just got a length, length, length and length, which means basically we're looking at length square or L times L. In this case, our L is 6, which we get from down here. Now, each of these lines show that each side is 6. Okay, they're all the same size. So what we're going to look at is area equals 6 times 6 or 6 squared. Now, we know this is 36, okay? But we can't leave it like that. We still need to do centimeters squared just to make it finished off. The next shape, just as easy, it's a triangle, okay? Now we know triangles are basically half of an, a rectangle. So we need two things. We need our base and we need our height, okay? The rule we're gonna use is one of two, we've got area equals half times base times height, or I prefer this one here, which is base times height divided by two. It's the same thing, but instead of times dividing by two is the same as times it by 0.5. So either or, whichever one suits you. Now I'm going to use this one here because I think this is a much easier one. So what we're going to do is substitute base with our base, which is 7. Then we're going to substitute our height, which is our 10. And then we're going to divide that by 2. So area equals 7 times 10 divided by 2. And this simply gives you 35. Because we know this is 70. Divide that by 2 gives us 35. Nice and simple. Now if you're going to do a perimeter on this one, you do need to know the base and you need to put these two together. But if you're asked that, you'll be given those measurements. Now trapezium, this one might be new to you. There is again two um, rules that we can use for this one. But the things we need to know here is basically we've got three things we need. We've got measurement A, measurement B, and height. Now A is the roof, B is the base, and we put all those together in these two formulas. Well, you can choose one. Okay, so we've got half times A plus B times by height. We can also do this one here where it says or A plus B times height divided by two. This one here is what I prefer to use. So we're gonna jump onto this one and use this rule here. So we've got A equals, now we've got our A, which is 4 plus our 10. 
Okay, we're going to put brackets around that because of bod mass. We're going to times it by height, which is 5. Then we're going to bring in our, our divided by 2. Now, divide by 2 is the same as saying times by half. Just an easy way of looking at it. So 4 plus 10 is 14. We're going to times that by 5. Now, we know that it's equal to 70. Okay, but we're going to divide both and divide by 2. So we know straight away 70 divided by 2 is 35 centimetres squared. So really, really nice and easy way of putting it. Moving forward. Okay. Parallelogram. So what's special about a parallelogram is we've got two sides. This one and this one are parallel. This one and this one are parallel to each other. So these are the same as this one and this one is the same as this one. Okay, so the base is the same length as the height in this case. Alright, so the rule is nice and simple. We're going to use area equals base times height, just like a rectangle or a square, something like that. So the first thing we're going to do is substitute our numbers. We've got base and height. So our base is 9. We've got our height, which is 6. And we're just going to times them together. Okay, so 9 times 6, nice and easy equals 54 centimetres. Now we have to include the square because we're talking area. But that's basically as simple as it is. Now we can't times it by the height here. So if you're given the measurement here, if you use that you're going to be wrong because that can stay the same but the height can change. So it just means it's going to look flatter. So you have to use this measurement here. Okay. Now our rhombus. A rhombus is basically a kite. Okay, so there's two things we need to know for a kite. We've got x and we've got y. Now the y, you can, it doesn't matter which way you have it around, but y is basically from this point to this point, and your x is from this point to this point. So I've given you in this case, we're going to say let's uh, have x is 5 and y is 3. So all you're going to do is substitute the numbers that we have here into this formula here. So x goes there and y goes there. So what we're going to have is area equals 5 times 3. Okay, we're going to divide that by 2 and then we're going to rewrite it. So 15 divided by 2. Now if we solve that it becomes 15 divided by 2 is 7.5. And don't forget your centimeters squared. Now, nice and easy. It's not a square. It's not a rhombus. So we have to divide by two. Okay. As you can see, it's two triangles still. Okay. So a little bit different. Okay.